All right, I'm jammed up inside the truck here, but what we're gonna do is we're going to demo the Navac NEF6LM battery powered flaring tool. This is their newest flaring tool. It is badass, and I'm gonna show you guys how to use it. So here's the battery charger right here. So when the battery light is on, it's fully charged. When it's flashing slowly, it's charging. When it's flashing rapidly, it means there is something wrong with the unit. The battery itself right here is a two amp hour, 7.4 volt lithium ion battery. So let's put this into the machine and test it out. So the battery just slides into the handheld unit very easily on the bottom right there. So we have an indication of battery life right on the unit itself from 25% to 100%. Those are glowing green when it's full. And if we hit the light button again, we have a work light right there. Now, what's cool about this is we can adjust the flare size, right? There's a little adjustment hex bolt right there. So we get into the instructions, we read those, we can adjust the flare size if we really want to do that. Now, as far as specs like weight, height, width, and all that kind of stuff, the dimensions, I will put that down in the summary of the video so you guys can read up on that so you don't have to remember what it is during the video. So I will put that down in text in the summary for you guys. So these are the flaring blocks and they go from quarter inch, written on the side there, to three quarter, and each one has its own unique pipe stop. So we insert the pipe, and we have a pipe stop there, so we don't go any further than that. So we're ensuring that the pipe is through to the right depth before we go and make the flare. We just move that out of the way when we insert the block into the tool. Now in the kit, we also have a flare gauge tool. And this is really important to check your flare gauge every once in a while to make sure that the tool is keeping up to the standard. So once we're done making a flare, I'll show you guys how to use this tool. Now we've got a clean piece of pipe here that I've already cut. Now you wanna ream this pipe out real nice before we go ahead and make a flare. Our half inch block, okay, just opens up like that. Just a set of spring loaded jaws and we put our pipe stop in place to gauge how far this goes in, okay? So we're gonna open that up and do that just now, get ready for the actual flare. So we gotta squeeze it together. So our pipe is in. You can see the pipe stop. is stopping the pipe from going through any further. So that's ready to be inserted into the machine. Okay, so what we wanna do is grab a hold of the handheld device. We have our assembly ready to go here. And basically we wanna insert it into the machine. And there are two arrows. Okay, they might be hard to see, but there's an arrow there, and there's an arrow on the other side right there. The lines on the, on the flare block, the two white lines have to be lined up with those two arrows, okay? And they are, so when they're lined up, what we wanna do is we wanna squeeze the trigger and lock it into place. Once we do that, we're ready to turn the machine on and make the flare. Okay, so now we're ready to rock. The tool is on. There is a button right here, okay, right in the middle. All we do is push that button and we wait till the machine is done flaring. So I'm gonna head and push that right now. Backing out. That's it, the flare is done. So now in opposite order, we just release the handle, okay? We remove the block. And now we have a quality badass 45 degree flare. Okay, so now that we're done, obviously this is not a real job or we would have had to put the flare nut on before because we'd have a roll of pipe. So don't forget your flare nuts guys because we all know that we've all done that. So now we want to check it with the flare gauge tool. There's all different types of sizes on there. This is half inch, so here is our half inch gauge. So what we got to do is basically turn it to the side like this and put it in the top and there's a little spot in there that it just sits on, okay? It should not 
go through. It should just sit on the indentation in there and it should not go through. Once it does that, you know your flare is made properly. Now it's hard to gauge speed during a demo video of a tool because I'm showing you step by step how to use it. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a flare just to show you how quick it is to actually make a flare when you're on a job site. Now this piece of pipe has been cut, it's been reamed, it's nice and clean, it's ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a flare.